Yeah. Thank you, President. My constituency question is for the Minister for Health. Two of my constituents, Megan Strauss and Taylor Faulkner, started 2020 by taking the first brave business steps and opening MT Dance Creative in Wodonga. But with the lockdowns came a decline in attendance. Online classes hold little appeal to young dancers who have to sit in front of a screen most of the day for regular lessons. Since the border bubble reopened, the school has managed to rent premises in New South Wales, allow, allowing them to hold regular classes and to pay two rents. But not all students and their parents can attend thanks to the time-consuming border crossing queues. The easing of restrictions in Victoria will offer some relief, but the limit of 20 people means young dancers cannot have mum or dad with them. Parents who live in the same house with a the child, there is no increased virus risk. This is likely to put off even the most enthusiastic tiny dancer. The little kids need their parents present. When will you trust dance schools to manage their COVID risk safely so they can teach young kids to dance again?